What to do? What to do? What to do? What's up? It's a big home in the building. Defense King, aka Angel and Sapphire. What's up? What to do? What's poppin'? Welcome to another episode of Emmett Mavry Special. Because I think I just want to say something yeah, before I continue. I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out <coughs> of your busy schedule to watch the show. It means a lot to me because you know, me creating this show is like basically about having a safe space to talk and interact with you guys and you know, for you guys to get to know me and hear my perspective on different things that happen in, um, in, like, in the world. And I'm just honored God that I'm able to have a platform like this to be authentic, to be vulnerable. Because, you know what I mean? And, um, God know the pain that I've gone through, this, the, the abuse, the suffering, and all that kind of stuff. And, God want me to use this platform so I can be able to share to share my story we have been through. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I guess keep going because God keep me going each and every day. God keep going. So you know what I mean? So I gotta be grateful. I'm thankful that God put me on this earth so I could be able to fill my destiny, my dream, my goals, and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? It, it means a lot that God chose me to be able to to share a story. Not just, you know, for me and the other people God help, you know what I mean? For me, like, I'm I'm talking for myself, like, God created me so I could be able to share the love. Share the love that I have. Because me, and I'm going to tell you this, I'm not any ordinary pe- person. I love people regardless of who they are, but... I don't, I'm, I, I don't hate no one at all. You know what I mean? Because God, the way how God created me, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't talk bad about people. I don't talk bad about people. I don't criticize people. I don't talk bad about people. I don't, you know, I don't hurt people. That's not who I am. That's not my personality. That's not who I was created. I was created to help people and be there for people and. Guys, I want to help you, like, even if I don't have nothing, I want to help somebody else, that's me. But let me tell you something, what I've learned throughout life, growing up, and I'll be honest with you, my grandma was that grew me, my grandma instilled to me greatness, greatness. You know what I mean? My grandma instilled me greatness. She was the one that taught me how to be myself. To you know what I mean? She's the one that gave me instilled to me greatness. And because of my grandmother, I'm able to be able to start a foundation in her name. But that's me. You know what I mean? Me, I'm a person. I'm a person who like to um, be able to help people regardless who they are. So, me starting this foundation on my grandma's name. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to be an honor to my grandmother. For me to start a foundation on her name. Because, to be honest with you, I'm more closer to my grandmother. I'm close to my grandmother. You know what I mean? Because she know that I have the gift. She know. And, and I'm going to tell you this, guys. Do you guys know that my grandmother know about who I really am? Yeah. My grandmother knew who I was when I was young. She knew how special I was. She knew that I have a gift. She knew that. Because of me, you know how she knows that she knows. <coughs> I remember when I was young and when I was seven years old. When I was seven years old, um, I had a near death, a near death experience. I got a near death experience. If it was for God, I would not be alive at this moment. If it wasn't for God, I would not be here today. At 35 years old, I've had near death experience, and I had um, a private citizen in my recent season. I had heart um, I had heart surgery. I got surgery. I was operated on twice. 
and I got a scar to show it. I got a scar to show it. Um, I want to take a picture, but if I, you know, but and the scar is in the middle of my. Okay, so imagine you, you, you remember it, right? And you, it's in the middle. You know where right here is? In the middle. So I have a scar down there because I have to operate on because they had to cut me open because. You know what I mean? But yeah, and and then my mom has a mom and I'ma tell you this, my mom gave tell me this weird thing. This this way it gets strange and weird. My mom met somebody when I was in New York when I was operating. My mom met some weird people. I don't know. To be honest with you. I know something was off. I know something was up when she told me about this. My mom said, oh, um, she was praying. She said, oh, God, if you save us, she's yours. She said, God, if you save us, like, why would you say that? You know what I mean? God, I'm already God's child. Regardless, you know, I'm already God's child. So why would you, t you know, she was praying. You know what I mean? And she and some people pray. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what them people pray. I don't know what religion. Because, you know, people believe in whatever. Some people believe there's no God. Some people, some people, oh gosh, that's another, that's another episode. So, I don't know what, for, and I'm going to tell you this. Um, I have more near-death experiences when I got older. Because there was a time when my mom pulled out a knife on me. Oh yeah, my pa. my mother pulled out a knife on me. Not just once, twice, more than twice. She be pulling out a knife at me. Yeah, so God saved me for a reason. So you know what I mean. She pulled out a knife on me, like countless times. And on, and I have another near death experience when um. I had my laptop. I was in the bed. You know, I always in bed. You know, making it in the bed. My my bedroom. I was sitting in the bed. My laptop was in, in the thing, right? Guys, something tell me to move that laptop. Something to tell me to move the laptop. Not this laptop. I never had this laptop. I had a different laptop. Something tell me to move the laptop. It's like God knew something was going to happen. So, if I had not moved that laptop, guys. God no, I will not be here. So I have so many close calls, so many close calls. No joke. This is not something to joke around, y'all. I had so many close calls. My mom th threw water on the bed when there's electricity on it. My tablet, my tablet, it got wet, guys. We both know what happens. The water and electricity does not mix. We both know what will happen to me. I will be electrocuted and I will not be on this earth. So you see how God is a good God? God will take you out of situation. You see that? God is a God. He will take you out of situation. But look at that. I have, it's not the first, I had so many close calls, so many close calls, no joke, I'm like, you know how God is, you know what I mean, God is an amazing God, he's amazing, I'm telling you, guys, y'all need to praise God, man, God, if God save you, if you have so many close calls, that means there's something special in your life. There's something special in your life. If, if you're still breathing right now, if you're still breathing right now, God has a God has something for you. He has something for you. God know your story. God know what you're going through. God know the things that you've been going through. Your parents leave you. Your mom and dad leave you. And then it's your grandma taking care of you. Your your mom, you know, you know what I mean? 
things like that you go through like substance abuse you go through abuse your mom beat you your dad beat you all that stuff you go through that it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy we gotta thank God if God saved you from like close call guys I'm telling you no I had so many close calls guys and I'm telling you this right now as we speak I should have been dead y'all I keep saying this over and over and over again I should have been dead but by the grace of God I'm not by the grace of God I'm not that's the thing if you put him first trust me he will save your life he will save you. this is a testimony I'm talking about te- I'm doing a testimony in this thing I didn't even realize I was doing a testimony but it's true I'm telling you I'm telling you I would not have been here I would not have been here for real I would not have been here if it wasn't the grace of God I would not be here doing what I'm supposed to do because I wouldn't have gone through what I've gone through you know what I mean all the things it made me into who I am because the reason why God said I'm, God keeps saying I'm not ready for you I'm not ready for you I'm not ready for you yet nah and I'm not ready for you God avoid me you see what I mean I had so many close calls so many if God I'm telling you I have a lot to be thankful for and I'm telling you I'm thankful and I'm grateful for his grace and his love that he has for me I'm telling you I am so grateful that I'm living at this moment because you know what I mean I'm very grateful because I'm telling you you know the things that I've been going through with my mother with the that I'm telling you because I did a podcast I did a podcast and I spoke about true love versus fake love this is the this is an extension to him, and I'm telling you this. You can, you know who God loves. God loves you. I know God. God loves you. Yeah, you be already know. If God, if God save you, countless times. If you were supposed to be dead, because be honest with you, I was supposed to be dead. I was supposed to be dead, but God said no. You no. I'm not. I'm not calling you home yet. You have. You have a gift. You need to do. I'm no, I'm no ordinary. Listen, and I'm gonna tell you this. I did my research on this. I did my research. I have a half a moon. I have a half a moon. And when I looked at it, a half a moon. I didn't know I have a. Cause when you put your hand together, if you have a half a moon, you there's something about you. There's something about you. And I'm telling you, I do. I have half a moon on my hand. That means there's something about me. There's a gift that is inside of me. If you have a moon, half a moon. If you have the letter M in your palm, there's some, there's greatness in stimming you. Because I know there's people like me out there. There's people like me out there. There's greatness in you. Remember that. There's greatness. There is something special about who you are, and what I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what it means. About once you have one half, I'm gonna, so hold on. So I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I'm gonna tap here. What does it? Okay, what does a half moon on your palm mean? I'm gonna tell you what does half of the moon means. I'm gonna tell you this. Having a crescent moon on your palms indicates a stable and balanced life that means you're gonna have a balanced life and no no devil in hell gonna stop that god gonna make sure it happen he gonna make sure it happen and particularly in terms of love god knows that there's people who really care about you there's people who care about you who really 
care about you because if your parents don't care about you and if your parents don't love you because you have some parents out there who treat their kids like total shit excuse my language but it's true there's people out there who with parents kick them out for nothing beat them silly and it's and God, and God said no 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 you gonna have a great life you gonna have a great life in terms of love in romantic relationship you gonna have the best relationship you gonna have a relationship of a lifetime you gonna have a relationship of a lifetime you gonna have friends who really care about you you gonna have friends who, who, who wants to be there for you guys I did a podcast that you the difference between true love and fake love and if you go on the podcast you you're gonna you're gonna hear the difference between it and you will determine what love is what love is not and then you're gonna have romance real romance and relationships so I'll tell you more half a month I don't know okay alright so I want to give you some surprising effects of having a half a moon on your pants. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you some key insights. If it's, I did some research and I found out if you have a crescent moon on your palm, it's called a crescent moon. If you have a half moon, that means it's a crescent. It's a crescent moon. That's what it means, crescent moon. If you have a crescent moon on your palm, it is considered rare. That means you are a rare individual. You're rare. You don't come, you know, there's something, there's something about you. That's what it's saying. It's considered rare and a special sign that indicates something magical and fortunate will happen to you. So if you have this crescent moon, you're gonna see you're gonna see magical and things happen to you. If you've been blessed by God, there's that means God knows it. God knows that there's that's why I should so I'm telling you guys, I should have been dead. Well, God said no. God said no. God said no. No, you. I'm not taking you. You ain't gonna go. That's why. If if God took you to move something, if God took you to move something, there's something God knows what's gonna happen next. God knows what's gonna happen next. If God took you to move something, you better move it. So anyway, people with a half moon on their palms have a strong sense of sensitivity. Sensitivity and maintain stable relationships with others, whether it's at work or with friends. Me, I'm, I'm a weird guy. Me, I love people for God's of you. Even if they treat me bad, I love them. And I'm telling you, my mother treat me so bad and not funny. It's not funny. She treat me so bad. She treat me bad. No joke, guys. The things that I've gone through with my mother. God sees it. God know it. But God said, I want you to, God, God, to, God did not take me out. Because He wants me to see this moment. Who my mom really is. Who she really is. You see? The grace of God allow me to experience this moment. Because if it wasn't for God, I would not be here. I would not have known about who she really is. But I'm telling you, and to be honest with you, and I'm going to be real honest with you before I continue. To be honest with you, I don't see no picture of me. I never seen a picture of me when I was a baby. Mm-mm. The only time I saw a picture of me when I was a baby was when somebody was holding me. But me being born... I never saw no picture, nothing. And it, this, this, this is the honest truth. I never, I never saw a picture of me being born. The only thing I, I, that's what I said. My childhood, I know nothing about my childhood. I don't know nothing about it. When I was yeah, I don't know nothing about it. All I know, I saw pictures of me. I saw, yeah, I saw pictures of me with a chicken bone in my hand when I was living in Jamaica. Chicken bone, in, 
She can bother my hand. You see, we can't. She can bother my hand. And my grandma said, I saw her. She can bother my hand. And I saw my cousin. A picture with me and my cousin. My, my cousin Jason. Me and my cousin Jason. And then, um. But I never. The only thing I never. There's, there's no picture of me being born out of. Out of um my mother, I, I, to be honest, with you, that's what I keep saying. I don't know if she, it's like the, I don't think she's actually my mother. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say this because my real mother would not treat me like that. Nah, my real mother would not treat me like that. They cry on me, talk bad on me, talk down on me, lying on me, accusing me, steal from me, manipulate me. Oh yeah, she does all that. If you go over on the podcast, and I want you to listen, I want you to listen. I did a, I did a podcast about narcissist behavior, narcissist race, and trust me. And I don't know if any, you know what I'm talking about, manipulation. Mom. She lied on me, accused me, she stole from me, she does a lot of things on me. She's trying to hurt me. See? She's trying to hurt me. You see, she tried. See that? Tried. But she can't. You know why? Because God is not going to allow that to happen. Mm-mm. You see that? You know how much time my mother, my, my mother, tried to, what, pull out a knife at me. She used knives, she used violent stuff I me. You know much time she does that? But God is not gonna allow her to do it. Because God is powerful than her. When when it comes to God's chosen ones, he don't play with the chosen that's why I tell you about me having a crescent moon as where he cares about you. If you have a moon sign, not just not even if you have a moon sign like a half moon you are a rare individual. I'm not the only one. But I'm, I'm telling you. That's why. And you know what's going on? It's the devil. The devil is trying to stop me from living. When I'm supposed. Let me tell you something. If you are leveling up. And the devil is trying to come at you like a, like a mighty force. God is not going to allow it. God, you see what I'm saying? You know how many times. I, I get my mom keep telling me, oh, oh mom, I don't have no business and you ain't, you ain't no business person. What kind of business are you talking about? You ain't got no business. You ain't got no, you don't have no business. And y'all already know. Y'all already know this. That I've been trying to, I'm building my, building a record label. Now it's only a foundation. That foundation is combined with the record label. It is, you know what I mean? So when she talking about I don't have a business, yeah, I'm building it. You think a business, um, you think a business is created in a shortcut? No, there's no shortcut to success. My business, yo, know, let me tell you something. Even if I don't make money, yet, even if I don't make money, yet, I'm not doing it just for the sake of money. I'm doing it because I love it. I do it because I love it. That's what me. I'm building my stuff because I was created on this earth for a purpose and me having this crescent moon that's why I'm a rare individual I, I am a rare individual I'm rare <laughs> this is like a once in a lifetime thing mm-hmm. so okay sorry about that that's the thing People with a half crescent moon on their palms are believed to have a very balanced mind and believe in peace. Yeah, I'm all about peace. Always, always, every day, all day. Which could potentially lead to a world without war and fights. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm not me? Yeah. I'm not a fighter. I'm not an actual fight. I'm a fighter, yes, but I'm not literally fight. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior fighter. Everything. You know what I mean? So, so having a half moon on your palms, having a half moon on your palms is associated with a romantic and emotional personality. So, I do have my personality. 
<laughs> do have that present. Half moon. If you have a half moon, y'all, that means you you are romantic. You have a romantic and emotional personality. So I do. And it signifies a positive change in luck and prosperity after marriage. If you have a half moon on your palms, you are likely to have out of the box thinking and creative ideas making you unsuited for a traditional 9 to 5 job see is what i'm saying uh, see if you have this sign you're not gonna have a 9 to 5 job you're not you're meant to create a business you're meant to that's what you're created for you're not created for a 9 to 5 if you're not created for a 9 to 5 job that means you are created for a better purpose so, having a half shape moon on your palm is believed to be a blessing. It's a blessing. So, if you, uh, let me tell you how to check if you have a half shape moon. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Not literally, like, you know, like, I always show you. But put your hands together. Put your palms together. You will see what I'm talking about. So, having a shape moon on your palm is believed to be a blessing and is associated with creativity and emotions in Hindu. People with this rare palm feature have the potential to start a new manifestation and bring about something completely different in future generations. See that? Exactly. Now the main th I'm telling you I love this. You know which one I love is having a crystal moon on your palm that gives a stable and balanced vibe between the terms of love. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. Alright, so I'm gonna answer some questions here. Now, if, I know people, I know you probably gonna be asking this question, and I'm gonna answer regardless, so you guys can know. Okay. You guys probably have this question like this, like, what does having a half moon sign on your palm signify? I just told you what it signifies, I just told you what it signifies. It signifies what? Luck, fortune, balanced emotions, deep relationships, and improved luck in relationships, particularly in marriage, bringing prosperity and joy into your life. Now the question is, what does having a crescent moon on your palm signify? Now there's a now there's a difference what I said, but it's completely the same as the first one. But this is your yeah, half moon is different from crescent moon, but it's the same, but it's different. Thing. So having a crescent moon on your palms is rare. That means you are rare. You are not any ordinary person. If you are rare, you are chosen. That's what it is. If you are rare being. If you have a half moon and a crescent moon, you are chosen by the creator. And he favors you. He favors you. And signifies something special and magical. Bring a luck and fortune to those who have it. If you have you have it. I have it. Anyone with the crescent moon and the half moon, you guys have it. You guys have the magic, the luck, the fortune. You don't know it yet, but I guess what? It's it's, it's written, it's on your palm. That half moon you got, that crescent moon, it suggests, it suggests that you have it. You have the, you have it. You have the magic. God is going, God is going to show you with blessings in your life. You have it. He will allow you to have it because He favors you. He will give you what your heart's desire. He, he will help you fulfill your dream. What are so next question? What are the impacts of having a half moon sign on your palms? So having a half moon on your palms indicates that you will have a balanced emotional stable relationship and a caring nature towards others without getting angry or hyperactive. See? See that? I'm that way too. I don't get angry just for getting angry. I don't. I don't get angry. I don't get angry. I don't get see. I have a caring nature as people, but I don't get angry for people like that. The only time I get angry if you do something when you're supposed to do. Something real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. So next question that 
peep the human have on your mind. How can you determine if the half moon formation on both palms is genuine? Trust me. To determine if the half moon formation on both palms is genuine, all you need to do is join them squared from your heart line to heart line at 45 degree angle and you will see it. Next question is you might have on your mind is what are the career prospects for people with half with a half moon on their palms? Well, People with a half moon on their palms are often creative. What am I doing? Being creative, right? Yeah, creative and innovative individuals who are not suited for traditional nine to five jobs. So if you have a half moon like me, because I did put my hands together, I do. If I have it, because I checked it. I, I I did what it says to. You know the front line. I did so that means I'm not suited for an nine to five job. I used to work at Walmart, so I'm not working there anymore. So that says something. I'm not suitable. It says I'm not suited for a nine to five job because you because people if you are if you're aware that means you are meant to create a business. You're meant for greatness in your life. You're meant to help the world. You're helped to help. The, you have a gift. God knows what your gift is. You're meant to for greatness. You're meant to start your own business. You help to build churches. You help you help to build houses. You're here to build build things in, in your name. You're here for better things. You're not here. If you have this, you're not suitable for a nine to five. That's what I'm saying. But a desire, a different and unique lifestyle or career. No. I'm gonna tell you this. Having a half moon sign on your palms is rare. We know that. We know it's rare. We know. So that's so now you guys know, cause I did, cause cause I didn't even know that I, I mean, but it's when I put it together I'm like, oh, cause I watched a video on YouTube about uh, I put my palm together and I I didn't know what that mean cause I saw a line in the thing like in the shape of a moon, but when I looked it up, that's how I know. That's why I know I have it because I did not know I had. I did not know. It was when I watched a video on um, on on, on I almost said Instagram, I mean YouTube, and then that's when I find out that you know, yeah, and and there's something I want to talk to you guys about the half moon. It's called a semicircle. Yeah, it denotes a confident, independent personality. That means you are you have an independent personality. You're independent. That's what it's saying. If you have a half moon, you're you have the in excuse me, you have the independent person. You have the confident person personality. And there's something else. The half moon mark on your hand, it hides secrets about your future. In your hand, the palm of your hands, it tells the secrets about your future. And that's why they say, you know, when they say you got a, the world in your hands. So imagine the world is on your hands. Exactly. So, so your future is in in your palm. It, that's what it's saying. Your future is in it. Cause I'm gonna tell you this. Your marriage can be revealed through lines. So if you got lines on your on your hand, yeah, there's your marriage can be revealed through lines, forks, islands, and chains on your hand. All of that is in there. All of it. That's why your future is in your hands. Remember you this you got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah. Meaning exactly. You guys put it together. Alright. Oh, hold on real quick. So I'm on so I'm not gonna go into all of these here because I'm gonna wait until the next episode to talk about the film about um half moon and stuff i will give you more information but what i, I want to talk to you about real quick is this is that um the devil knows this the devil knows it the devil knows you are rare so he's going to send his angels his whatever and that's what he's been doing to me Cause my mom be doing all sorts of things because god knows i should be dead but <laughs> that's oh no no I ain't read of her yet. No, she, you, no, you ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make sure you fulfill your dream. You have a destiny on your hands. And that's why if you have a half moon, 
you have the destiny, there's a destiny in your life. There is destiny placed on your life. So when my mom, you know how many things my mom. Oh my guys. You know how many times my mom trying to do things to me? Trust me. Because if you can't see me, I'm just relaxed right now. I'm still talking. The mic is right in my mouth. So, so you know how many things my mom did to me? She tried to knock me down. Tell me I ain't, I ain't worth it. I ain't got no ambition. I can't do nothing. Tell me I don't pay no bill or whatever. Trust me. She make so many excuses. She accused me. She stole my thing. She eat my food. She eat the food that I buy. Guys, every time I buy, every time I buy something, she eat it. Every time I buy something, she eat it. For real. Every time. Yeah. Every time she do it. I buy things she eat. You know my you know how many things my mom did to me. Let me just that's the devil. If the if the if he, if the think about it. That's the devil right there. Cause if you have a God put you on here for a purpose. If the only person that's trying to interrupt it, shut it is the devil. And let me tell you something. There's a difference you can tell it if if trust me, the devil wants you not to shine. The devil doesn't want you to shine. God does. God, wants, I have the light. So when my mom tell me that I don't have the light of God, she, my mom, you know, let me tell you this. My mom always say I'm evil and all the kind of stuff I did, things, and God know that I'm not evil because I have a rare. I have the half moon sign. I'm created in the image of God. You know, if, that's what I'm saying in the Bible. I'm telling you, Jesus went through all of this. God went through all this. Jesus went through all of this. I'm telling you, Jesus went through. Jesus is a rare kind too. Jesus is rare. Because remember, when Mary was pregnant with Jesus, remember, the Jeremiah 29 11 said, For I formed you in your muscle. I knew you. That verse is a most powerful sign. Because God is saying that He knows your story. He knows it from the beginning, the middle, and the ending. He knows what's going to happen to you. He knows. He knows every step you're going to take, every move you make. He knows um, when people are trying to get at you. He knows it. He knows what's going to happen. But He's going to get you out of it. He's going to prevent you from things. If He's not, let me tell you something. If God, if God did not take you out yet, you, that means you have a purpose in life. You have a purpose. You have a destiny on your life. You have a destiny that's on your life. You know what I mean? And I'm speaking as a life good and I'm speaking as myself too. I'm speaking as a, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to tell you this. God loves you no matter what. He loves you. He loves you so much. And the thing that you have a half moon. The thing is you have a half moon on your thing. It says something about you. And look at that. It says something about you. For real. It's because I'm telling you. God knows you more than you know yourself. That's why your palm on your hands. Your palm tells you. Your hand holds the future. Your hand has the future. Your hand knows it. God knows it. You, your future is in your hands. That's why you have the heart line. You have that line. You have this line. Your future is in your hand. That's why the song said it's got the whole wide world in his hands. God is saying it. Your future is in your hands. Your future is in your hands. Your marriage line, the whatever line, though, it is in your hands. And I'm gonna tell you this. And I'm going to tell you this, I always, I always tell myself, excuse me, I don't know what was, this thing. sorry about that guys, I'm trying to scratch my legs. I'm telling you something, 
God knows everything about you. He knows what you're going to be. He knows your story. He knows what you're going to be in life. He already know that. I, uh, uh, he already know I'm going to be a creative. Because look. He sees potential in you. He sees the gifts in you. Even if your parents don't see it. Even if your family doesn't see it. God sees it. God don't look what's on the outside. God look, God look what's on the inside. It's the inside that God looks at. That's what the thing is. God sees a heart. God sees it. It doesn't matter if you kill somebody, you see somebody steal or whatever. But God, he's, he's not looking at the physical aspect. He's looking at what the heart is. He, you know what I mean? And I'm not condoning. You know, to, to you go, to, to you to go murder somebody or whatever. No, but I'm saying this. God knows you. God cares about you. He sees greatness in your life. He sees it. He cares about you. So when that's what I'm telling you, I'm glad I talk about the half moon thing. Cause look at that. Look at that. God knows it because. I didn't even know I have half a moon. It's when I put it together, my hand together, I'm like, wow. When I put my hand together, guys, if you can't see me, um, I'm, if you still like, but I'm telling you this because, um, because God sees you for who you are. God cares about you. It doesn't matter what your parents think. It doesn't matter what your mom thinks, your dad thinks, your family thinks. You got a gift inside of you. You got a gift. You, God knows your story. God knows you have a purpose. God knows you have a dream. Go for it. It's singing is your dream. Go for it. Let me tell you something. Music has been a part of me. When I was young. God knew that. Even when I was being formed in my mother's womb. Even when I, I was being formed. God knew. Because the Bible says it. Find you the plans I have for you. To prosper you. To keep you. To give you hope and a future. That's in a different context. You have the King James Version. And you have the NIV Version. You have the New King James Version. I'm telling you. God knows it. And the, the different versions of the Bible. Which tells you more about Jeremiah 29 11. You know what I mean? There's more to it. You know what I mean? There is more to it. I'm telling you, God cares about you the most. So if that's what I'm saying, if you have a moon sign, if you have a moon, a crescent moon, that means you are rare. You are not any ordinary person. You are rare. What I'm telling you, your palm. I'm. I'm gonna tell you more about palm. I'm gonna tell you, palmistry is a crucial aspect. Of astrology, so not so. If people say, "Oh, you were doing astrology," uh, no, God hates astrology. No, but God uses it to his advantage. That's what God does. People say, "Oh, you believe in astrology." Your palm is a part of astrology. It's crucial to astrology. That's that's why it says crucial. So when people say, "Oh, I don't believe in astrology," you're saying that you don't believe in the in, in the in the Holy Spirit. You you say you don't believe in God. That's what you're telling. That's what you're telling him. You're telling God that you don't believe in him. Because when you say you don't believe in astrology, you're saying you don't believe in God. So you got to be careful what comes out your mouth. I mean, as it is believed that a person's and written in hand lines, it can reveal a wealth of information about your your life, including your past, your present, and the future. Your hand lines not only expose a person's behavior, but can also offer predictions about their future. One noticeable feature in palmistry is the half moon shape as i told you about that that appears when hands are clasped together which can be either complete or incomplete depending on the individual so i'm gonna I'm give you more information i'm gonna give you i'm gonna tell the general meaning of a half moon on palm in astrology and palmistry the appearance of a half moon on their hand can have various interpretations according to legend 
Those who have a half moon in their palm are believed to be naturally attractive and lucky. I know I'm attractive. No wonder every girl keep hitting on me. Every girl always, uh, uh damn, I'm so, everybody, I'm, guys, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, girls keep coming at me all the time. No joke. And girls, girls obviously coming left and right. I'm like, Jesus. Now I know I'm attractive. Because every girl keep hollering at me. Even when I was in Jamaica. I, I was at, I went to the um, Oak Shires and um, this girl, there was a, some time ago. Um, it, where my, after my grandmother passed and stuff, I went to Jamaica. This girl hollering at me. I was in the pool. And I was like, I'm like, <laughs> She was she was staring at me, dude staring at me, and then another girl staring at me and keep looking and look at, look at me and look down. I'm like, okay, I didn't know I was that attractive, but I know because I was attractive. Anyway, additionally, it is believed that people with half, with half moon on palm are deeply in love with their partner. So yeah, if you have a half moon on palm. You are deeply in love with your partner. All you have to do to check if you have this mark, you got to join it. If you have it, you consider yourself lucky. You are considered lucky and attractive. And you are also believed to be intelligent. So that's why I say, why do I keep on telling you I'm intelligent? That there's a there's a word for intelligence. I'm sac uh, sapiosexual. I even put it on my Instagram. I'm a sapiosexual. I'm attracted to intelligence. If you're intelligent, uh, uh, yeah, I'm attracted to intelligence, baby. Because huh, that's why I'm attracted to intelligence. I'm a sapiosexual, baby. Mm-hmm. It's because I need another intelligent person. I'm attracted to intelligent beings like myself, you know, and a skilled problem solver, yeah. Guys, I always solve problems. I always, because one thing about me, I know how to solve people's problems. That's why when I was young, like, peop, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, people tell me their business like there's no tomorrow. People tell me their business and all like, I'm like, okay. People tell me their business. When I mean, mean people tell me their business, they tell me their business and, and they want to hear what I have to say to them. And, and, you know, and now I'm a certified life coach and I'm a certified marriage counselor and a couples counselor, you know. Cool. So, I'm going to tell you the half moon on the palms saying, okay. Palmists often focus on these five lines when examining a person's future. You have the lifeline. There's a lifeline. I'm going to have to go ex- show you that in in future episodes. I'm going to show you how... Because I'm, I'm going to show you on my palm which one is a lifeline, which is a marriage line, and a fate line. And a heart line. And a headline. Uh-huh. Let me give you more information about that. Right? <laughs> My mom just turned off the light. Sorry, guys. I'm going to turn on in a minute. She turned off the whole light, guys.
I'm gonna turn on in a minute. You see what I'm saying, guys? You see what I'm saying, guys? You see that? And she's wearing my clothes too. Yep. My clothes. saying this is what I'm talking about this is exactly what I'm talking about see see what I'm saying and that's why I stopped talking because you see that this is exactly what I'm talking about this is exactly what I'm talking about. Let me turn on the light real quick. Okay, listen. I'm going to turn on the light when she leave. Because I don't know what was that all about. You see what I mean? And I'm sorry you cannot see me. I'm so sorry. That was not my intention. She just did it. You see what I'm saying? So, this is the type of thing I'm talking about. You see? Some, I'm in here. Why turn off all the lights? You see what I'm saying? If you're leaving, if you're leaving to go somewhere, why you turn off the lights when somebody, when I'm here? Tell me if that makes sense. You see what I mean? You, you see the thing I'm going through? You see the thing? That's what I'm telling. Guys, if you have half a moon, this is what you're going to go through. You, If you are a rare being, you are going to go through this type of stuff. People um, trying to hate on you, manipulate you, talk bad to you, describe you, talk bad about you. You're going to go through this because guess what? Because that is what happens when if that's what where people do. And I'm going to I'm going to explain to you the heart line. I'm going to go into that, but what I'm trying to tell you, you uh, that's why I stopped talking for a minute because if you hear me stop talking, I'm stop talking because for a purpose because look at this. I'm here. See what I mean? I'm here. And she turned off the light when I'm here. You know what I mean? Is that, you see you see what I'm, I have to go through? And I and I'm not I'm not saying this to be funny and all. I'm not saying this to be funny. I'm saying this because I'm telling you the, um cuz I'm all about authenticity. As I, does that mean? When it, when it comes to me, I'm a very authentic person. I'm very authentic. I I t I reveal the truth. You see what I'm saying? You guys witness this. You guys witness this. And if you if you um listen to the podcast that I've did, you know what I'm talking about. Because look at this. What does the devil? The devil does doesn't like the light. So. What do you think the devil gonna do? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You guys just witness it right there. And because I'm gonna tell you this, I did not turn off the light. You saw me sitting there the whole time. You see what I mean? You saw me sitting there the whole time. So this is exact guys, you're gonna go through this stuff for real. If you're if you have a half sign. If you have a half moon sign, you are a rare being and you will go through things like this. Your parents will talk bad about you, criticize you, blame, accuse you of th stuff that you didn't do. You're going to go through these things. You go if cuz I'm I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. I've been through stuff being accused of, being talked bad of, described, been manipulated. She let me tell you this. This is not a joke, y'all. This is not a joke. You guys just suck. Just witness it just now. You guys just witness it now. Just witness it. You see what I mean? 
So I'm not saying this because I'm I'm like I'm not talking to you guys about this because I'm I'm just for the sake of talking and I, if y'all don't believe me that's that's your business but y'all just witness what just happened. You just witnessed it. You just witnessed it and I'm going to let you hear a recording what you said and I'm yeah. I'm going to he let y'all hear a recording but before I do that I'm going to finish thing because I want you guys I want you guys to know this. One thing with me, I'm an upfront person. I'm not just any other person. I'm a rare being. I'm rare. I come once in a lifetime. If you're rare, it especially that's why I said I, I'm glad I talk about the moon sign, the half moon. I'm telling I'm I tell you about this for a reason. I'm telling you this for a reason. We go through things like this. That's why if you have that gift, that's why if you're not, that's why, it, that's why people who have this sign, this half moon sign, we are rare. We're not any ordinary person. We're not. We're here. We're here for a different purpose from, from other people. If you're chosen by God, you have this. That's what it means. Show, that's what it means by a chosen one. A chosen one has a half moon sign. That's what it means by being chosen. Because God chose you. God chose you for a reason. God know that there's a reason why you're here. You see that what I'm talking about? So um I so I'm telling you, chosen ones go through a lot. And I'm gonna talk more about that. Um, in, in in episodes to come, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna talk more because I'm not being, you know what I mean. So anyway, we're gonna jump back to it. I'm and then if I have time, I will talk about it. If not, I will uh, talk about it in, in the next episode. So hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. This I'm gonna lock that door because this flies just flying in here. Uh, where was I? Okay. So you, uh, as I was saying, there are five lines when examining a person's future. You have the life line, the marriage line, the fate line, the heart line, and the head line. So I'm gonna tell you how to find these. The heart line, also known as the love, the heart line is known as a love line. You all know that the heart deals with love. Love line. That is the line that runs from the base of the little finger to the index finger. Representing a person's emotional and physical interactions. To determine if you have a half moon on your palm, you got to examine the heart line on both hands. As it may not be the same size or shape, it is important to know that the heart line can vary not only between individuals, but even within a single person. It is <coughs> Excuse me. It is possible to observe unusual patterns in the love line, such as a straight line or even the shape of a half moon, by aligning the base of the lines when bringing both palms together. <sighs> However, it is important to note that the interpretation of these patterns may vary and should be considered with caution. You gotta consult a professional palmist or a scholar that can give more accurate analysis of the meaning behind the patterns in the love line. So. I'm going to tell you the significance of the half moon on the palm. So, I want to also read the Rahu and Moon Conjunction Remedies. It's in all 12 houses. But we're going to go to the significance of half moon on the palm. The art line that appears in the shape of a half moon or a semicircle. It's called a semicircle because the moon is, is, is consists of a semicircle. In palmistry, um, suggests that the person is self-assured and independent. Such individuals may possess a strong sense of self and are not afraid to take charge where necessary. So we we could so you know what I mean exactly. Even if it means confronting challenges head on, they can be assertive and determined, unafraid to take risk or to make decisions. That's why I'm saying Sir Jake Schreiber's probably have, and I guarantee you she have she have this sign. I guarantee you, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Something tells me Sir Jake Schreiber's have half a moon. Just saying. They desire love as fast as the ho as the ocean. I'm gonna say that again. They desire love as vast as the ocean, but they do not beg for it. So me, 
I'm just saying I don't beg for it. So charming and cordial, they have a good chance of finding love with a long-term partner or a foreign partner. They prefer a stable environment, which I do, and dislike people who are disruptive, which I am, you know, and may interfere with their, uh, their otherwise simple lives. That's me. This is telling. This is this right here is telling the real me and uh, and for people who are chosen by God are uh, who have these lines. If you have these lines, this is who you are. So yeah, individuals with a half moon on their palm may prefer arranged marriages set up by friends and family. Someone whose heart lines from a half moon shape is likely to have an inclination towards. Older individuals. <laughs> no, no. One of my exes older. My ex girlfriends. Uh, to be honest with you, all my ex girlfriends are older. Uh, are older than me. No joke. <laughs> older and and possess intelligence and maturity beyond your years. Such individuals find it difficult to maintain relationships with others. They usually do not care about the opinion of others. And I'm that way. I don't give two hoots what people think about. And Sergey X is the same way too. So I'm telling you, she's a cancer. She's a water sign like me. So this applies to her. So yeah. Mm. Go be. That's why she said there's a mind to business ministries. Yeah. And I'm going to drink my water and mind my business, which I've been doing, Sarah. If you're watching this episode, I've been making sure I said I mind my business and drink my water. Just saying, I drink my water and mind my business. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down and mind my business. So, yeah. Such individuals have an 80% chance of settling down with a much older partner. Huh. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Some some other interesting facts about half moon on Pam. The half moon mark on your hand hides secrets about your future, which is true. Uh, having multiple fine lines alongside the half moon moon doesn't always mean you will marry frequently you know what i mean that's what it means it means that you'd have to marry frequently if there are two deep dark lines on your hand one is long and the other is short with a half moon present the longer line represents your marriage while the shorter line symbolizes your troubled relationship if you have a half moon on your hand and your marriage line is either longer than longer or shorter than the other five lines it's believed that you will marry someone from a different case okay however if there is a black dot blemish or deep cross on either your marriage line or half moon it is considered unlucky for your union and may suggest a scandalous journey or even divorce i don't have that on mine so just saying just saying i don't have i don't have one for more if you want more about these all you gotta do is just follow me on instagram and follow me on all social media platforms so i will give you more information on that because i want you guys to know more so that's you know yeah that's all guys i was shocked that i had uh um you know what i mean i was shocked for real yeah, no joke. I was shocked that because I was, guys, I was concerned because I was like, I was thinking about my palm, and I saw even the letter M too. There's a letter M on my on my palm, and I need, I'm gonna look it up and tell you what that means as well because I was like, I didn't even know I have half moon because to be honest with you, I've been look, I've been seeing the moon, I've been looking at the moon outside, um, uh, at my window all the time on my window, and uh, you know always see the moon i'm like i didn't realize it so when i watch a youtube video on it and and you see that god know that i'm gonna stumble upon that youtube video <laughs> lord jesus <laughs> so god is good guys god know that i won't stumble upon that video and which i did i stumbled upon that video wow that is crazy y'all all right so i'm gonna tell you about the uh, the m Yeah, hold on. Oh. Okay. Y'all ain't gonna believe what I just found out. People are asking these questions. 
on here. People are asking, what does a half moon mean in astrology? Oh, so is that half moon is called a lunar? So there's the so-called lunar. The lunar is called half moon. Oh, I did not know that. Good, good to know. Or sickle of the moon, also waning in waxing moon. Wait, okay. Is a sign of fertility related to life and death. Okay. And thus a popular symbol in many religions. It pinpoints changing seasons, ebb and tide, and related in your conditions as harbingers of fertility and the feminine menstrual cycle. Oh my god. Oh, okay. And people are at, people ask this question. What are the lucky signs on your palm? Now, understanding the top three signs on your palm, the money triangle, the sun line, and the mount of Jupiter. You can tap into the power of these auspicious indicators manifest in your life. Okay. Oh, that is, wow. I'm shocked, y'all, because I, I, I didn't even know these things. So, let me tell you about the letter M. Hold on, once I tell you about that. So, the more part. Wait, what does mother, okay? What does it mean to have the letter M on your palm? Oh, there we go. It just popped up like that. Okay. Oh, the okay. Guys, if you have the letter M, that means you are more special than most. You heard that loud and clear right here. You heard this. You are, yeah, if you, if you, if you have the letter M, you are, I'm telling you, oh Lord, the letter, yeah. Okay, hold on, let me say. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean you're more special than most. I'm at, I'm 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 gonna give you some intake. So quick, turn your hand over. I want you to turn your hand over and look at the center of your palm. Now, do you see an M shape that looks kinda like uh this I'm gonna show you like this. This is what is on my hand, but I I, I want to show you my hand. Oh wait, I'm gonna show you on Instagram. All right, I'm gonna take a picture and show you. I'm gonna take a picture and show it to you. So go um by the time this episode is up, um I take a picture of my 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 hand the letter M. So that I'm gonna show you how the M sign looks like. So make sure to go on Instagram and you you will see what I'm talking about. So if you do, you're in luck. Because according to ancient Indian art of palmistry, in there is a book called Karmic Palmistry, Explore Past Lives, Soulmates, and Karma. Um, author and palmistry expert John St. German says that the M letter is pretty rare. That's why I said we are rare beings. That's why we're rare. So the letter M is rare. No, not everybody have this. Not everybody has this. There's a few, like a few people has this type. That's rare. And those who have it are the more special than most. That's right. In other words, the marking is thought to be a sign of a bright career future. Because those who have it are apparently very disciplined, smart, and motivated. So it tells that about you. Now before you M Palmers get too excited, John goes on to explain that the positive virtues of the M marking really depend on which hands it's on. If it's if you are a right handed person, you want to have it and on your left hand and, and, and vice versa. To be honest with you, I have M's on both of my hands. Yep, I have it on both. Yeah. I have it on my left and right hand. So, of course, this all depends on if you're a firm believer in palmistry and other foretelling the future things. 
Either way, palm reading does come in handy when you're in need of a cool party trick. Yep. So, you see what I did there? <laughs> yeah. So, mm-hmm. That's what it means. You are more special. You already know. That means, and what that also means is you are blessed with good fortune. And it also means, it's also a sign of strong intuition and creativity as well as determination and career growth. So you have the letter M in both left and right or le right, your dominant hand or both vice versa. You are rare. You have a strong intuition. Just saying. Now. People ask this too. That if the rarest lines on your palm. Reportedly only 3% of the entire world population have the letter X on their palms. It is located in between the two horizontal curved lines on your palm. Ancient legacy. Alexander the Great had the letter X on his palm. Which had a unique marking and was rarely found in someone else. I probably have it. But I, I probably have it. Yeah, I I probably do have it, but I need to check to see. I I, I want I I want you to check. I want, I'm gonna post an Instagram so you guys can know what I'm talking about. So, alright. Oh man, people ask so many questions. Oh man. Oh, oh so people people be asking which palm to read for females. So opinions very many modern readers believe it's important to analyze both the left and right hand. You're supposed to analyze both. The non-dominant hand reveals natural personality and character, while the dominant hand shows how these traits have been actualized in practice. So my dominant hand is my right hand. My non-dominant hand is my left. Cool. Cool. This is amazing. I'm just... So people are asking, should you read left or right palm? Well, to be honest with you, as a life coach and therapist or whatever, you should do both. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the theory is that the left hand shows potential, while the right hand shows what you've done with that potential. So, like some palm readers uh, believe that the left is what the gods give you. The right is what you do with it. God gives you your left hand. It's the right hand God, you know what I mean? The right hand gives you what you want to do with it. So. Mm. Wow. Guys, I am shocked, y'all. Because I see the I see the half a sign and I'm like, oh, let me check it out. Come to find out I'm rare. And uh, people like me uh, who have this is rare. <sighs> oh, I, and there's another thing I want to tell you. It says having an M on the right hand is seen as a symbol of financial success. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, because trust me, that's why that song said you got the whole wild world in his hands. <sighs> Your hands tell you your future, my friend. Yep, it is true. Everything about our hands says something about us. Whether it's the shape or the length of your fingernails. But most importantly, at least in palmistry, are the lines on our palms. It's called palm reading. And those tiny lines can say a whole heck a lot. Yeah, right. I told you about the major. I told you. I told you about the major heart lines. So, uh, for example, the left line doesn't say how your left line doesn't say how long you'll live, but the kind of life you'll lead. The head line doesn't indicate how smart you are, but how you think. But the heart line is unreliable. So don't count on it to give you and helpful advice for your relationships. Some people are blessed to have these lines form an M 
on one or both of their hands. So if you have an M on your palm, it means that you're pretty special. No, my grandmother knew I was special. If your grandmother tell you you're special, oh, your grandma is right. Your grandma is right, my friend. Your grandma is right. I'm going to tell you more about the letter M in palm square. So, if the lines on your palm intersect in such a way that they form an M, this is the case that you're a gift, you're a gifted and very special person. This marking, also known as this, is the, the marking is called a simian line. That's what it's called. It's believed to be an indicator of not only good luck, but success in almost everything the person endeavors to do. The, in palm screen, the letter M on the palm indicates a person with exceptional intuition, insight, and potential for leadership. I do have the leadership skills. Just saying. If mm, It is seen as a sign of a strong personality and the ability to overcome obstacles with determination. And trust me, Sergei Roberts have this. This she got have she has this line for real. Those with the M possess those with the M possess entrepreneurial skills and the ability to make a lot of money at almost everything they do. Oh, and that intuition makes them human lie detectors. We are a human lie detector. So when I tell you if I tell you that somebody's lying, if I tell you my mom is lying, oh you better believe it. You better believe it. See, this just confirmed it. We are a human lie detector. We're rare and we are, yeah, we're a lie detector. Yeah. So if I tell you that somebody's lying, you better, I, I, I ain't joking. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't try to, don't try to con, con them. But there's a catch. If you're right-handed. And the M mark should appear on your left and then vice versa. Yep. How rare is an M on the palm? Having an M in the palm of your hand is actually considered relatively rare. Because not everybody has this sign. A few people has it. It occurs in only a small percentage of the population. And that is called the simian line. It, that is characterized by a single crease that runs across the palm, replaces it on the usual two separate lines for the head and heart. This distinctive mark is believed to be present in approximately one to two in of individuals worldwide. For real. The let, letter M on the, is also in palmetry. The positioning and the markings on the hand are believed to reveal insights about a person's character, personality, and even potential future. When the letter M is present on the left hand, it gives you a new meaning. If you have an M on your left hand, it means that you are blessed with good fortune, leadership abilities, and a strong intuition. And I do have it on both. Those who possess the letter M on their left hand have a natural gift for making sound judgments, which I do. Easily navigating challenges and taking charge in vigorous aspects of life. They are individuals who have a strong sense of responsibility and a drive for success. And it is thought to bestow a sense of luck and prosperity upon them. Having the letter M on the left hand is also said to signify an individual's ability to excel in persuasion. People with this marking have a charismatic aura. Yeah, I, was, I know I got a charismatic aura. Making them naturally persuasive and influential in the interaction with others. Their symbol is associated with eloquence, intellect, and a knack for capturing people's attention, especially with their words. It suggests that individuals with the M sign may excel in professions that require effective communication skills, such as sales, public speaking, and teaching. And I'm good in all all categories because I know how to do communication skills, and that's another course I'm gonna go take. And um, I do pub I'm doing public speaking right now uh, on China, and I am a teacher. Yep. The M on the right palm, meaning uh, on your right hand, also also, which is if you're if your right hand is your dominant hand, yep. When the letter M appears on the right hand, indicates traits like practically resourcefulness and a strong work ethic. Those with these markets have a grounded and practical approach to life, often displaying excellent problem-solving skills and an ability to adapt to any situations. The letter M on the right hand suggests that the, the individuals are 
diligent and hardworking. They are willing to put in the necessary effort to achieve their goals. This marketing is often associated with people who excel in professions that require precision, attention to detail, and a practical mindset. Yep. Guys, there's a lot, so man, we go we gonna stop right here, God. There's a whole lot. Yeah, there is a whole lot right here. So we gonna we gonna stop right here. If you guys in, if you guys shock, yeah. I know you guys are shocked. <laughs> I know you guys are shocked for real. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go close that door that you see opening. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. And yeah. Y'all taking these. If y'all watch throughout this, uh, if you watch through this um, episode, that means you're you uh you want you really wanted to know about this. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, you really want to know. Alright, y'all. I'm your host, D First King. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It means you're watching me. You're watching this episode, and there's gonna be more more information about that. And I'm gonna go into different things more about you know. Uh, more about promise um, more about promise I want to talk to you more the, about the half the half moon which is called a Chris Chris Dent moon, moon whatever so I'm gonna talk more about that we're gonna we're gonna talk different topics we're gonna talk about we're gonna go deep into that as well and we're gonna t talk about um narcissistic things as well about you know I would apply it doesn't apply uh, the it does apply to it because I'm gonna tell you the reason, and God is gonna. And I'm gonna tell you that in our next episode we're gonna go into that. So make sure to stay tuned and keep it locked and loaded on this platform. Thank you so much. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the show to get more deeds to get more episodes to come. I appreciate you for taking time out. And I'm telling you, if you watch throughout this episode, you are a trooper because trust me. I did not intend to do this long, but the Holy Spirit wanted me to let you guys know about this because if it was because I was one that researched it, I, I, I had to bring it up because I know the Holy Spirit told me to bring it up, so I bring it up, and then, you know. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Love you guys. Make sure to go subscribe. Make sure if you have any comments, questions, comments, feel, leave it in the comments below. And if you want to be a part of the show, make sure to call us at 239-722-1581. 239-722-1581. You could text us. You could text us. Call us. If you want us to make sure your name, make sure to text us first. And text um text if you want us to put your name in the show. And and then so go ahead. Go 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 on there and call us and we will put you online. We will we will put your question. We can put your name. If you want to be anonymous, let me know. Give send me a text message at 239-722-1581. 239-722-1581. I'm your host, D Fresh King. You're watching on a future live show. And I'm signing out. Peace. Good luck. Stay blessed and yeah. Woo!